Don't always do what I should I'd be better if I thought I could I'm a sucker for adrenaline Every villain is Everybody trying to change my ways But I live just to see you break I'm a sucker for Hi there, how are you doing? Brian. Good to see you again. We met in SCI yeah. a couple years ago. Yep, yep. Yeah. I do remember that. Hey there. Mark, nice to meet you, Brian. Brian. And Earl Peterson. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, this first one here is a little heavy. Yeah, right? I realized like right as it started swinging out the door that that was a little... One of you can sit just right here and then the other one right where you are basically. Where I'm at? Yep. Okay. One there and then one right here. Well fresh off the plane this afternoon and right out sea duck hunting. We've got about an hour and a half left of light and we're gonna maximize it here on this trip. The weather's gorgeous. I mean, we can beat this evening, sea duck hunting right here. fairly slow in the evening, but we've had scoters, golden eyes, and harlequins, old squaws, and uh, bluebells go by so far tonight. Okay. So, harlequin, I know you can only do four of those for a season. Correct. Anything? All the sea ducks are four. Individual species? Yep. Every species you get four. Maximum of 20. Okay. Is that a normal distance, Brian? Right here. Hunting Kodiak, he hung a lot of shorelines. He set decoy strings out, and that's exactly what we did right here and had a just an absolute gorgeous Drake Common Scoter come in. Thank you. 
coming into the decoys. We've had some early action this morning. Just dropped a Drake Harlequin out here and birds are flying pretty good both directions. So it should, should pick up even as it gets a little bit lighter out. Sea duck hunting in Kodiak using Browning's new Wicked Blend shells. They got number two steel and four bismuth in it, and they are laying the hammer down out here. Wrapped up pretty awesome morning of duck hunting. Got into uh, common scoters and harlequin, so tough to beat that. We're gonna go back, grab some lunch, and we'll be back out this afternoon. Just gonna sit here and drift and pass shoot as they fly by us. They're going in and out of the basin, so that's basically what we're gonna do. There's generally, good numbers of ducks here. And what then, kind of species are here, Brian? Oh, uh, we have surf scoters, white wing scoters, Barrow's golden eye, a lot of harlequin, common scoter. Yep. There you go. Um, See what this one is coming at us, Brian? Harlequin. Long tail's coming from the right. Coming from the right, Dad. Oh, coming, coming, coming. coming. We got three? You just about got your limit on one shot there. Oh, this one's gorgeous. That one just tipped over, dead. Right in front of us. So you got your matching note. It's a gorgeous hen too. Ooh, yeah. That's about the easiest long tails I've ever got. That worked out perfect. Well, just wrapped up an amazing day of sea duck hunting here in Kodiak. We got into long-tailed ducks, common scoters, and harlequin. Yeah, I mean, look at this. The views are amazing here. So tomorrow we're going to switch it up. We're going to go blacktail hunting. And then on Sunday, it'll be two days from now, the weather's going to be nasty. So that's going to be another good sea duck day.
got out here and had a little trouble because the waves are hitting the boat so much it put a lot of water into the boat so it's just a little too windy to actually hunt today because we can't go and get any of the ducks we shoot so we're going to go back to the cabin and kind of regroup today winds are humming out here Gold nice. I knew those would just be a matter of grinding it out. Well, this morning we got what we came for, a Barrows Goldeneye. Very limited range on where they're at, so we specifically targeted Kodiak Island because they have just a high population. So that bird this morning made the trip here. Gorgeous. We're out here and got a surf scoter. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bird.
uh, last morning here in Kodiak, sitting out on the point. Got a couple hours before the plane comes, hoping for a bluebill or a long-tailed duck to come by. Who knows, maybe even a white wing if we're really lucky. Hold my dad. Gorgeous Drake Barrels eh? Barrels Golden Eye. What's that? Four. Four for a season. Not good. Nice shot, Dad. What's that? You got him. Well done, guys. On the porch most every night And with a little glass of brandy Well, all just wrapped up an amazing trip here in Kodiak with a pair of Barrels Golden Eyes Drakes. And it's been an amazing week here. Finished up our Harlequin limit for Alaska. So dad and I both got four for the year. Got a few common scoters, a surf scoter, and dad also got a couple of long-tailed ducks, which uh, pretty amazing. So off to Maine and then Mexico and Arkansas to complete the year. Cause I can squeeze a whole life from a single minute. I'm over the hill for a lot. Kodiak Island has a reputation for producing some of the largest brown bears in the world. But this trip has shown me just how abundant the waterfall opportunities here are as well. Although the weather forced us off the shores for a couple of days, leaving with three more species still feels like a win. As we push to close out 2020, I realize the weather is finally starting to get colder and we'll move more birds through the flyways. I feel like we have a good head of steam now and I'm falling into a rhythm that will be tough to break.